about 110 public health preparedness clinics have answered the call to extend their operating hours for two weeks. And doctors at some of these clinics are hiring people and getting staff to perform additional shifts. This comes as the Health Ministry announced this week that selected PHPCs will operate up to 11pm on all nights as well as from 2 to 5pm on weekend afternoons. I'm now joined by family physician Dr. Ellie Sabrina. She's the director of Banyan Clinic in Woodlands. Welcome to the show, Doctor. Uh, doctor, is your clinic these days uh, seeing more patients with respiratory symptoms? Oh, definitely. Uh, we are seeing at least double the numbers before the uh, Omicron surge, especially after the uh, Chinese New Year period. And how has that uh, affected the operations uh, for your clinic? Um, of course, uh, we are a neighbourhood clinic. Um, the problem when there is a sudden surge in the number of uh, upper respiratory cases, we have a problem of managing the triaging of both the uh, acute patients with acute symptoms and those who come to the clinic for chronic conditions. Um, because I think, as everyone know, um, for those family clinics um, in the um, HDB estate, uh, we do not have much of a space, so it's, it's pretty difficult to separate both groups. And uh, that creates a lot of stress on um, uh, the, my staff. And secondly, because so many people are getting infected with the Omicron variant, um, nurses and doctors are human too, there is an increase in absenteeism rate and we have to deal with the uh, manpower shortage. And uh, doctor, it's been reported the majority of the recent COVID-19 cases, uh, they have mild symptoms. Help us understand uh, what is considered mild symptoms. Okay, when, you talk, when we are talking about mild symptoms, we are talking about symptoms that probably would not require any um, urgent treatment or hospitalization. So usually we triage the person, but the people according to the risk factors and uh, also with the symptoms. So if say, for example, you're just having some fever, a bit of cough, a bit of sniffle, body ache, these are mild, especially if you are young and fully vaccinated because evidence has shown that most of us will recover quite uneventfully. But if you belong to the high-risk group and high-risk group are those who are vaccinated but more than 80 years old, those who are unvaccinated more than 70 years old, uh, the very young ones, especially babies below the age of three months and uh, those with conditions with uh, immunocompromised states, for this group of people, their symptoms, they would uh, belong to the high risk group and they would require to see the doctor. For symptoms like, if say for example, if you are having chest pain or shortness of breath, fever that is unrelenting for going on for more than three days, a headache that doesn't seem to go away with medication, palpitations, or you have symptoms that uh, may, uh, may uh, show an impending stroke. All these are considered serious and you should see the doctor. The rest of it, most of the time, it is considered mild. So doctor, for mildly symptomatic patients, uh, they are told to recover at home. What's your advice then on what they would need uh, to do that? I think the most important thing is just like as if you are get you have any form of flu most important is rest try to get good rest secondly hydrate try to drink up more and then the other thing if say for example you have symptoms like a runny nose or a bit of cough a bit of sore throat you can get over the counter medication you can get help from your uninfected household members who can buy over-the-counter medication from the pharmacy. If you're unable to do that, you are living at home alone, um, you can go to the um, uh, portal that was given, that is given to those who are ART positive at home. You can go to the telemedicine provider and to get some medications from the uh, telemedicine clinic 
or you can call up our you can call up the PHPC clinic to uh, which you went to to get um, uh, yourself tested. Uh, I'm sure that the uh, staff down there is able to help you. The other thing I think most important a lot of people is asking when you are at home and you're unwell and you you are ART positive is how do you exactly self isolate? I think. The most important thing um, is, if possible, if you are living in a household with um, other uninfected uh, household members um, and you have a shared bathroom, um, try to um, uh, uh, disinfect the uh, toilet after each use. And uh, if you are out of your room, okay, if, if uh, um, you are out of your room, wear your mask, okay, and um, practice uh, social distancing that is important.